Hey guys, Cassie here. Just wanted to have a real quick chat with you. It's been a busy morning. Honey, where are my keys? You had them last. Have you seen my shoes? So we got a few minutes. Let's get her done. So hey guys, welcome back to Carnivore Quest. Yay. We have a busy morning this morning, so we have time for a quick chat video. Our daughter Ashley came for a visit with her uh, boyfriend Nick. We had a great time. Yes, we did. The first time in about eight years, we had all our kids in one spot, and it really was a joy. There's always somebody missing. You know, we'd have three of them together, and one of them couldn't make it. And it just worked out this time where everybody had the time off and sort of a carnivore quest family reunion, and it was really nice. Temptations? Temptations. You know, the first night they were here, we talked about taking them out to dinner. But Cassie and I have found that going out to dinner for us is quite a temptation because we love looking at the menu. I mean, when Same we're... Same pastime. <laughs> right? Yeah. Cassie collects menus <laughs> in her spare time. No, I'm kidding. But we do. We, we enjoy going over a menu and... You know, even if you're going in there with a mindset that you're just going to have a steak, it's really hard. You know, you see all this other good food. There's people all around you eating all this really tasty food. And so we just prefer, you know, not put ourselves in that situation, um, at least for the first two or three months. We know there's a lot of people out there who, um, you know, oh, well, we go to restaurants and see what kind of carnivore options they have. But we just feel that. You know, it's it's more of a temptation than it's worth. So that first night for dinner, um, many of you know, and for those who, of you who don't, I work at a butcher shop, and we it's a upscale, um, high end meat butcher shop, and I picked up some beautiful ribeyes, and we had some lobster tail in the freezer. Yes. So we had the most delicious meal for, for what we would have spent at a high-end steakhouse it was a fraction of the cost that we made at home and it was just as good if not better absolutely and that that first night was just ashley and her man nick and us and little larry and then we had all the kids together um a couple days later for like a big family outing and we did burgers and hot dogs you know um of course we're the only ones eating a restrictive diet so we had Hamburger buns and hot dog buns and chips. Potato salad, Potato baked salad. beans. You know, you want to be a good host, so you pick all this stuff up for everybody. Yeah. We made it. You know, we got through it. I mean, to the normal person, that might not sound like a big deal, but, you know, we, we made it through the day, and we ended up just having uh, burger patties with a little cheese, and it was good. Mm -hmm. So, of course, Cassie saw Ashley um, a few months ago when she went to Colorado. And I hadn't seen her in four years. So that was really cool. Catch up with her. She's grown up a lot. And I finally got to meet Nick. And he's a really upstanding, awesome guy. And we've never really approved of any of her, you know, bad boy uh, boyfriends. But he is solid. Um, nice young man. Good relationship with his mom. You know, my, my mom always used to say, you can tell if a guy's good by how he treats his mother. So... Uh, it was a real pleasure meeting him and mm -hmm. you know Ashley's doing a lot better and we'd like to thank you guys it's really the reason we're making this video um, to our for our subscribers to thank you for all your prayers and good thoughts and all your messages um, you know regarding Ashley because she was struggling there for a while and she's such a, a, a good soul you know Ashley's the kind of person that would you know, give her shoe, take her shoes off and give it to a homeless yeah, person. Her heart's as big as the ocean. Yeah, you know, and she just, you know, she was struggling there for a while and it seems like she's doing a lot better. Mm -hmm. And we are big believers in the power of prayer. So we'd like to thank you all very much. So as far as our big gathering goes, one of the drawbacks was afterwards. We had a ton of food left over. And I actually texted Cassie and said, oh my gosh, all this food's here. She's like, throw it away. I can't do that. I can't throw away food. So... Little Larry's been eating it up. And, you know, we're talking buns, ruffles, chips, you know, just, just the leftovers. Garbage. But, <laughs> garbage. But it's pretty much uh, all eaten up now. And we got through it. So, pretty cool. So, we wanted to make this quick video, have a quick chat, let you guys know how our visit with Asher went. It went really well. Take it on home. So, if you want to be a part of our journey, 200-pound weight loss, make sure to like and subscribe this video. 
Check us out on Instagram at carnivore.quest, and we'll be seeing you real soon. Later. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> First take. No, no. Sure, you can do no, whatever you want. No. But okay. Yeah. You just had to get that. I got it in. You got it. I felt confident. You are the best. All right. Because the hair looks so good. Maybe. Is that how you want to end it? Yep.